Do you guys ever hear things that are hard to believe? Anything that you kind of doubt that's, that's difficult to believe? Things that are maybe, like what? Do you think of anything? I can't think of anything off the top of your head. What if I told you I have a hundred dollars in my pocket? You doubt that? <laughs> Just fine. I'm not, I'm not hinting here at anything, but... So would that be kind of hard to believe? Maybe. Maybe not. Not really. You believe that? You walk around with $100 in your pocket? What if I said, what if I said one of you has $100 in your pocket? You do? You don't. No. You wish you did. What if I said one of you has $100 in your ear? Have you ever seen magicians pull the coins out of people's ears? Have you ever had somebody pull a coin out of your ear? How do those coins get in there anyway? I don't know, either. They hide it in their hand and then they pull it out, right? It's a trick, right? Sometimes we see or hear things that we doubt, that we're not sure about. You know, the disciples had trouble believing that Jesus came back to life. Would that be hard to believe? You'd believe that very easily. But you know, you grew up knowing that Jesus came back to life ever since you were little, right? Now that you're much bigger, it's easy for you to believe because you've been trained all your whole life. But what about if I said somebody who knew your great grandparents who had died and come back to life? Would you believe that? No way, right? Not a chance. The disciples were confronted with a very difficult reality. They were told that Jesus was alive. And at first, I think most of them doubted. In fact, Peter and John, they weren't sure. They wanted to make sure. They ran to the tomb to find out. When Mary came back and told them that Jesus was alive, Thomas didn't see him with the other disciples. All 12 disciples, well, all 11 disciples. <laughs> So the ten remaining disciples said, Jesus is alive. But they still doubt. Thomas still doubt. Even after all the people told him. Until Thomas saw with his own eyes. And Jesus said to Thomas, Look. Look at my wrists. Look at my hands. Do you see the holes? He said to Thomas, He said, Thomas, come. Look at my side. Do you remember what the soldiers did to Jesus' side? What did he do? Well, he did whip his back, right? Nails in his hands and to his sides. With a spear, they jabbed holes in his sides. Ow! And Jesus said to Thomas, come here. Look and see for yourself. And Thomas then, finally he believed. Because he could see with his own eyes that Jesus was back to life. That's right. But you know the last thing that Jesus said to Thomas was? He said, you believe because you've seen with your own eyes. But God is really going to bless people who believe even though they didn't see with their own eyes. So you know what? You didn't see Jesus come out of you. Did you? But you believe it. Do you believe that Jesus came out of the tomb and he was alive? Well, if you believe that, God says you're going to be blessed even more than the disciples. Because they saw it. But you believe without having seen. And you know what? I really do have $100 in my pocket. No, I don't. Yeah. I do. I don't believe <laughs> I had $100 in my pocket the whole time. And you know what? It's true. Jesus did come back to life. Even though you can't see him, it's absolutely true. And God will bless you for believing. Yeah. Yeah, you thought I had 100 ones, huh? Well, let's pray and thank Jesus for real.
really, truly coming back to life. And you know what? When you doubt, if you get older and you doubt, that's normal. We're going to pray that God will help you through those times as well. Okay? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming back to life. And going and living in heaven with God and answering our prayers. When we doubt, help us out. Help us believe that you truly did raise as we know today you did. We love you and we pray in your name. Amen.